on board here, board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Don't kill me! Huh? Wait, where am I? Oh. Huh? You're awake! As to and Momo, Jumpy Zuku, him's. Uh, I am alive! That's the thing I remember. Wait, Momo, wait, you. <sighs> I'm sorry. What? I'm so, so sorry. I'm a jerk. It's too, like, um, what you talking about? <sighs> okay. Here's the thing. I do remember you. R really? Yeah, but in my defense, I thought you were a guy. Uh Wait, what? Uh, can you explain? Okay, wh when I moved down to the countryside, Momo was there too. She was one of the few people I would actually hang out with. And she left. The thing is, she wouldn't wear any dresses or anything. Maybe overalls, a t-shirt or something. I did think it was weird that that guy, you know, had, had his nails done or earring at such a young age. But I didn't really care. All those times we played house and I was the wife. You didn't connect the dots. Hey, I was a kid. I was devastated for not having a quirk. I... Uh, I'm sorry. You promised to marry me. I know. I know. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? Is the whole class is... The... Really? As then they can feel intense heat coming from Toru as she's pretty much Really? You made a promise to her, did you? You said she you, you married each other. <laughs> well, we were kids and you, if you thought I was a guy, why did you say yes? I was a kid, and so were you. We were best friends, I didn't know. So if I was a dude, if I was a guy, you would be okay with me. As Izuku's blushing, Mama was like, no way. Are you? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I play for both sides. I, I don't mind if it's a man or a woman. Oh. Man, I was like, wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! Let me get this straight. You said you would marry her. Yes. We promised if we ever saw each other again, we would, you know, marry each other. But I didn't think, I didn't think you'd be... Uh, yeah. If anything, Izuku helped me uh, 
learn about the capabilities of my quirk and how he was devastated not having one I thought I could be a hero instead for both of us what <laughs> yeah I it just because he couldn't be a hero or at least wouldn't be as successful I thought I could succeed for the both of us <laughs> Izuku starts tearing up and saying, that's so sweet. <laughs> Thank you for being such a great friend. Then, uh, but yeah, I was hurt when you left, though. I really did miss you a lot. And then he met me, so just interrupting the sweet, sweet moment. Oh, yeah, how did he meet you? Momo being all sorts of salty like, right now. Like, oh, yeah, he saved my dad. What? Please explain. You see... Wait, should I tell him? Tell him what? You know... <sighs> Might as well. Okay, good. I'm a dragon! Yeah, we know you're a dragon. We saw you use your quirk to almost kill that villain. Oh no, I'm a real dragon! What? Yeah. I'm an honest god real dragon. So is Kana. What? Yeah. As they look at Izuku, yeah. You see, when I met Toru, I actually met her father first, in which he had a giant sword in his uh in his back. I pulled it out, saved him, and she tackled me, thinking I was going to hurt him. Oh, and yeah, it turns out I do have a quirk. The only, the only thing is, so it was like it was cut from me or something, and he used healing magic to fix it. Really? Uh huh. You expect us to believe that? Yeah. Leave it if you want, and it doesn't really matter. <sighs> you know, I can actually show them, right? What? You always show them, you know? You know, I can make portals to my world, right? Oh, yeah, right. Oh, man, I forgot all about that. Excuse me? <laughs> you, you, wait, y'all serious? Well,. Yeah, I mean, Khan can do it too, but the only thing is, she's not as powerful, so she doesn't know how to use everything. As then he looks down and sees that Khan is sleeping right beside him, her head on the hospital bed. So cute! I know. <laughs> you were awake! Uh-huh. But why didn't you say anything? Because I want praise. And you called me cute. <sighs> of course. Him just patting her on the head. Toru and Momo get very pissed. But also jealous. Then it's like, oh, it's a, it's a child. But then he's like, he looks and like, oh, hey, Toru. Uh, what are you talking about? Invisible girl, Hagakure, you know. Hi. Oh. Oh, yeah, you want the other ones, ain't you? Huh? You're almost trying to steal him away from me. <laughs> How absurd. No. No, of course not. Okay. Whatever you say. You need to comb your hair. 
what? And then Colin's like, yeah, it's very messy. Uh, wait, you guys can... Yeah, we can see you too. It's not just Izuku, even though his is a little different. His version of seeing you is different. He uses heat waves. At least thermal vision or something kind. We can actually see you. I mean, hell, we can block our perception. What? And then they just disappear. Wait, huh? Don't worry, they're still there. They just use perception blocking. If anything, that stuff is so strong, I can't even really use my thermal vision. I can just barely smell them, though. Okay, so what about this new world? As recovery girls, or <laughs> if you're, if this means the hospital bed is gonna be free and my, you know, my room is less crowded, please. Oh, oh, well, yeah, yeah, we are, God, we, we, we're sorry, but. I'll, I'll leave right now. That's a good idea. Now, when it comes to Izuku, pretty much <laughs> mounting Toru Izuku's. This is what she meant. Bastard Mineta. Oh, yeah, I knew. I just like torturing you for living one of my fantasies. As everyone else gets on Toru's back. And Colin's like, can I come too? He's like, of course. What kind of parent will leave their child unattended? <clears throat> yeah. You didn't leave me when you decided to go see Dad. Inko was there. Mm. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. And this is when the portal opens and they go through it. Them seeing the world is a lot different. The landscapes, the mountains, some of them which are destroyed by <clears throat> Toru. But then it's pretty much like, whoa. So you, yes, me and Connor are dragons, real ones. I am from the Chaos Faction. Kara. Chances are she's gonna be part of that one too. Wait, what? Wait, what's that, what's that mean? Eh. It means we're technically evil. <laughs> what? <laughs> eh, we. At least we're considered to be evil. Eh, it's this whole thing. Then look at Exuku. Did you? Hey, don't don't think of it like that. As I am a chaos faction, you say. So you're technically the bad guys. Yes. Yeah, you could say that, but who knows? I might even end up changing my mind or something. But why? Wait, why are you? in the chaos faction like do you have a choice or mm, it really depends on which faction our parents are part of which yeah with my dad yeah he's part of chaos faction so it was kind of expected that I would be too so as they're going on and on Izuku's like wait look look down there what, what? I'm hungry. Ah, uh -uh. if you're gonna eat anything, it's gonna be me. What? <laughs> then I'm just like, Mama, I got great. Just looking at him sideways. Like, did you do you compare? Did you you care to explain yourself? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I. Um. Uh. Listen, I can explain. 
It's not what it sounds like. Really? Please, please. I, I, w I would like to hear your your explanation for this. As Izuku can't really think of anything offhand, if anything, like her tail. I eat her tail. I don't see how that makes it better. Momo, she she just summons a gun. So like, you better start explaining yourself right. Okay, okay, okay. I um okay. Here, here, here's the thing. She, she feeds me. Her honest to god tail just pointing at it. Oh. Wait, why? If anything, is this whole thing. Uh, I lost a bed. He looked at Ketsukwal's tits and then I decided to punish him. Excuse me, but who's who's that? Who, who's Ketsukwal? Uh. Okay, you see, uh, she's, as then, she's, as you can imagine, confronted. But, Emma, what have you done? What, what, wait, what are you talking about? You're going to kill these humans, aren't you? But, what? No! This is Izuku, right here, Izuku. Mm, a likely story. Uh, Toru, who is this? It's Emma. She's from the Harmony faction. Oh. Wait. Oh, no! As then, I was like, don't worry. I'll save you from this monster. As, yeah, Toru is trying to actually explain here. Like, no, you had the wrong idea. I'm not trying to kill them. I'm not trying to eat them. I'm not trying to do any of that. I'm just taking them around on a little tour of our world. That's all. A likely story. You think I forgot about how we used to be the best of friends until you betrayed me? Excuse me? Tor, would you care to explain that? Not really. It seems like a hassle to me. Human, why are you talking to her so casually? Do you not realize the danger you are in? Oh. Am I in danger? Yes! Him looking at Toru, her just... Toru, as he just starts sc scratching her, is like, What are you doing? like am I in danger as then she starts making some very interesting noises much to Izuku's enjoyment Emma's pretty much like what are you doing He's like oh I'm trying to see just how dangerous this dragon is as then he hears a gunshot him turning his head and sees the face of a demon in Momo is like enough with the lovey dovey crap please oh Toro time to go home let's go let's go let's go let's go why end up uh, in the obituaries let's go <laughs> as Toro leaves Emma's probably much like what the hell just happened as then Izuku is on his knees, profusely apologizing to his class, especially Momo, who is still holding a gun. <sighs> I am still a bit upset with you. But all things considered, I forgive you. Really? Yes. You're lucky I love you so much. Her giving him a kiss. Then Momo, get out of my way. Kisses him. 
Then Hagakure does. And finally, Kana, she lifts up her arms. Izuku picks her up and she gives him a kiss as well. It's pretty much like... Okay, we'll see, we see, we see how this is. I guess now we are adversaries. Indeed. Indeed we are. Izuku realizing that he is both living a male fantasy, but also considering that the women are not pushovers and actually could severely injure him given enough motivation. Yeah, he's terrified. Interested, but terrified, to say the least. When it comes to Izuku, actually, uh, for honest to, God, honest to God, he's wondering, huh, so this Alma person, what did you do? I don't want to talk about it. You, you don't want to talk about it. Yeah. So, respect my decision. Really? You're, you're really doing this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to talk about my past, so drop it. Okay, you don't have to be like this. So, no, I do. Especially the way you treat me. Way I treat what I do wrong. Hmm. You judge my sensitive area. What? Oh, come on. How do I know? How was I supposed to know? Way behind your horns is where you're most sensitive. Hmm. Uh, uh. Okay. I'm sorry. Him give her a kiss on the forehead as Kana, Izuku, and Toru go home. <sighs> oh, but seriously, this is. Then I see the door to the place is open. What's going on? They see that our stuff is gone, and Toru's much like we've been robbed. Uh, huh? The person was here recently. There was a lot of people, which makes sense. I know exactly where they are. As then they approached on this huge ass mansion, as Zuku's. Something doesn't feel right about this. What do you mean? Obviously, the people here are rich, so it makes no sense to why they would want to rob us. So, yeah, you're right. Well, Kong, would you like to help me out with some justice? Are we going to kill them? Let's play it by ear. Okay. Wait! <laughs> Killing is still illegal. True. But. No. No. No buts. No. N n none of that. Killing is wrong. I do not condone it. You want to let me kill Moneta? You do not have to kill anyone from this world. Am I understood? Fine. Fine. Whatever. But still. They're gonna be good, well done, extra crispy. Once I'm done with them, that's fine. I'm, I'm actually, as they burst down the doors and pretty much freeze thief as Connor does do a heroic pose, just having her fists on her shoulders. Then they realize, that, oh, hey, he's a girl. Mama, I knew that scent smelled familiar. But what are you doing? Why do you steal our stuff? 
Oh, I'm not stealing. I just moved it. Excuse me? Moved it? Why? Where are we? What do you mean? This is your new home. Excuse me, but why? Because we're going to be living together. What? As then her parents show up, it's like, yep. It seems as whatever you did, maybe so Momo did want to get married to you. In which we are all but happy to hear. So, <laughs> thank you. What? Oh, yes. You are to be married. Uh huh? As, yes, Momo runs at Izuku, leaps into his arms, and whispers in his ear, I'm not losing to that dragon, bitch. <laughs> As, yes, this is when Toru is starting to spark up some fire, and Izuku's Please calm down. Why are you holding her so lovingly in your arms? I, it's not my fault I decided to catch her. I'm about to catch some bodies. Right now. If you... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Just, just be cool. Just be cool. Calm down. And I'm just putting her down, but not before she gives him a kiss on the lips. And she looks very satisfied and sticks her tongue out at one so Toru as kind of like so you're gonna be my new mom well technically yes you're gonna have pretty much three moms excuse me Th three there's only two of us hi Magagare what are you? Oh yes. Since we are proper rivals, we do not want anyone else to have an advantage over the other. And you living with Tor already is one hell of an advantage for her side. Oh. 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 Oh dear. Yeah. So you? <laughs> you are not leaving my sight. Come on, God. Let me show you to the kitchen. Why? Are you hungry? A little. Good. You have some good food for you. For you. You know, your favorite mom has some special treats for you. As, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then, they hear about the whole, oh, yeah. We're going to have to investigate this whole villain incident thing. So, classes are, right now, going to be a little suspended. As yes, you can just cut the tension with the air as Toru, Hagakure, and Momo are right there. Just like, <laughs> uh, clinging to Izuku. There's no other way you can say it. They're clinging to him. Not one either or just to get the upper hand. But then here comes Rekia. Wait, wait, what are you doing here? Aren't you from class one as... Yes. Get Squall, or... Local. She shows up. Uh, what are you doing here? She says she knows, knows you. Again, what are you doing here? Oh, you see, she was doing some... Interesting summoning magic. And I decided to, you know, pop out. 
You decided. Yep. Her just holding on to Draco is like, I'm her familiar now. Uh, why? Yeah. Because you seem to have so much fun here, Toru, and I decide, hell, my, find me a human to stay with. Her just being a little extra grabby, all things considered. So, oh, please save me. I didn't mean to summon a demon. I'm a dragon. Well, technically, I'm a god, but still. Oh, no, you're a demon. With though with those mountains, you are a demon. <laughs> what mount, mountains? Her just looking. Oh, that's so sweet. Ugh. So easy. So how you been, easy baby? <laughs> he just feeling the cold, dead stares of everyone. Why did you call me that? Because I like doing it. So, how have things been going? Ugh, complicated, just so so complicated. Wait, so you're a dra you're a dragon like uh, Toru and Kana? Mm-hmm. What what faction are you with? Eh, I'm just a spectator. I'm not into fighting. Though yes, I am more powerful than. Toru may ever be. <laughs> I don't like fighting. What? So you just watch the carnage? Mm hmm. I'm not one for. I'm not very confrontational or violence. Unless I have to be. Hmm. Okay. That's, that's good to know. As then Izuku, he falls to his knees in pain, filling his head. It's like, oh, what the hell? Why is this hurting? What's going on? Oh. Oh, right. As then, yeah. Local is pretty much like, you didn't. What? Didn't what? Okay. Izuku baby, tell me. Did did you get a blood transfusion from Toru? Huh? What's that got to do with anything? Wait, a blood transfusion? Why would I have one? Him looking at Toru's mm. Toru? Please explain. After you admit into the infirmary, hospital, whatever, you lost a lot of blood. So I volunteered. Are you crazy? The blood of a drag dragon is poisonous to humans. What? Yes, and make it worse, you're part of the chaos faction. The only way to save him now is to. Is to what? What? Ezuku is pretty much writhing in pain and agony. He's like, what does he have to do? <gasps> so I was like, I know what needs to be done. And she starts stripping now. I was like, wait, what are you doing? Like, and she's holding on to Ezuku. like, I have to sleep with him, don't I? No! You need the blood of uh, Harmony Faction and Spectator Faction Dragons. What? You need the blood of a Spectator Faction Dragon, like me, and you're also going to need uh, a Harmony Faction Dragon's blood. Just to, you know, Balance everything out. You're kidding! I wish I was. Help me, please!
I don't want to die like this. Do I really have to? Yes. You see that? Or let him die. Choose wisely. <clears throat> As yes. Tora's right. Pretty much trying to. Okay, what, what options do I have here? It's like. Ah. Uh, damn it. And then, yes, they go back to the, the world, and Elma shows up. Okay. Ah! As then she sees Izuku in pain. It's like. What did you do? I messed up. He needs a blood transfusion, and I volunteer to tribute. Do you realize how dangerous I do now? It would take the blood of... Wait, is that why you're here? Yes. Please help me save him. Ugh. I don't know. I don't like you, but he's also an innocent. But... I mean, he accepted your blood willingly, didn't he? He was unconscious. What? You didn't even get his consent for the transfusion? Wait, does he have parents who he could... She was gone for a while. Ugh. Tori, you are so irresponsible. Just like when we were younger. What the hell? I know. I'm sorry. Please help me save him. Ah. Fine, uh, whatever. Izuku, he is unconscious. As soon as he wakes up, uh, uh, uh. huh? What the? Uh, where am I? Oh, thank God you're awake, huh? Oh, wait, wait, what happened? Last thing I remember. Yeah, I'm so, so sorry. That was never supposed to happen. Wait. <laughs> I remember now! Yeah! You! Your blood was poisoned to me and then... I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm so, so very sorry. I did not know I... <sighs> so, what happened? How, how was I... And we just gave you some of our blood. That's no no big deal. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's, it's, it's not making this a bigger deal than it actually is. Okay. Uh, all that matters is that you're safe. And I... At least justice has prevailed. Is she was she always like this? Oh, so you didn't tell him everything yet, have you? I was trying to avoid it. Okay, you guys sound like you were friends, but something happened. I would like to know what precisely happened. Ugh. Might as well might as well tell him. Fine. Okay. Ella was worshipped as a god with food, luxury, all that. And that pissed me off. But then we started walking, talking together. We, we slowly became friends despite our backgrounds. Then, then they go on and on and on until the... Then she attacked me out of nowhere. Heck, I didn't do anything wrong. You were taking advantage of humans. You are a dragon. Where was your pride? Okay, listen. Just because I'm a dragon does not mean... Seriously, with my power, I could help the humans. No, you made them dependent on you. As, yeah, they just keep arguing over and over and over again. Ziku's like, okay, okay, I get it. 
It's pretty much like you taking advantage of the human race because you know, your power was able to help them a lot. Making them more dependent on you in which they will give you more praises and everything. And you're pretty much taking advantage of them. Uh, no, I was helping them. No, you were making them far too docile. And then, yes, this pretty much goes like, can't you guys go just be friends again or at least try to? Do we have to? I mean, yes. Do we really have to? What part of yes do you not understand? Okay, okay, fine. We'll... We'll play nice for now, at least for your sake, since... A lot of circumstances happened around you that shouldn't have happened. Good. Thank you. Now, let's get back to... To the whole matter of, yeah, the sports festival. Izuku does participate, but he soon realizes something is different. Different now? It's pretty much, oh, wait. Uh, something doesn't feel right. He suddenly feels stronger, he feels more alert, his senses have gotten even a bigger boost than they were before and I'm wondering like wow don't tell me I'm secretly a Saiyan <laughs> nah nah that's impossible yeah, that's a whole different anime concept but if anything what comes to race he uses his fu fire as a you could say a rocket booster Far exceed what Bakugo could ever accomplish when it comes to his explosions at once. At least, how he is now. When it comes to a cavalry battle, he creates a dome of fire in which no one can even reach. But surprisingly enough, his team is fine. Now, for the fights, it's pretty much it's easy for Izuku. Because of him getting punched or kicked or anything, he doesn't notice anything. Izuku notices this, especially when it comes to his fight against Toroki. At first, it would be just Toroki's ice versus Izuku's fire as well as telekinesis. The only thing is, when Izuku actually punches a glacier by accident, it shatters into snowflakes. Sending Toroki flying clear out of the whole arena. Everyone is shocked at this. They're pretty much like, wait, I thought he only had two, maybe three quarters, but th what is this? And then everyone stares at Izuku. He's wondering, okay, this is... Wow. Now, one of the people who are most surprised is Toru, Lokula, Kana, and Elma. The one is like, wait, where did he get this strength from? As then they remember, wait, our blood was supposed to cancel each other out, right? Yes. Did anyone think about the fact that it could actually integrate to a system in which he's... Don't tell me you're saying what I think you're saying. Are you saying that we indirectly turn him into a dragon? No. Well, I have heard stories of people who... Had dragon blood gaining abilities, but never being a dragon. 
is this is pretty much when it's Bongo's turn to get his ass whooped. I mean, to fight Izuku. He tries. Izuku, he is controlling Bongo's explosions. Not only their potency, but also the direction in which they go. Even setting him ablaze with fire breathing. The only thing is, Bongo is stubborn as hell. He's not going to take this line down. He's not going to allow Izuku to get an easy win. To the point where Izuku starts getting riled up. How so? Let's just say he starts growing fangs. His skin starts getting more scaly. As then he grows wings. Much to everyone's shock and complete surprise. For all they know, Izuku just had a quirk awakening or at least his quirk evolved Bako seeing this he realizes what's happened as he wants to keep fighting but he also knows chances are he's gonna die if this carries on anymore but too late Izuku on instinct is flying straight towards him and slams him down to the ground and starts stomping on his chest then kicks him out the ring before he hits the ground. Izuku just disappears and rides right behind him just to kick him back to the stage as he is playing ping pong with himself using Bakugo as the ball. It is unfair. It is brutality at its finest as Izuku is enjoying this. He's starting to get flashbacks of all the times he's been ridiculed, all the times he was called weak. Hell, his name, well, nickname, Deku. Yeah, that didn't sit well with him nowadays. As Bongo is barely conscious, his eye is swollen shut. He's bruised up, arms broken. Please, I give up. As Izuku lifts him up by his shirt collar. What's my name? And just before he unleashes a turret of fire, he notices smoke starts to fill up the area as he falls asleep. Bongo, he is relieved as he can finally close his eyes and not be scared of death. Once Izuku wakes up, he sees that he's chained this time. He's not handcuffed, he's chained. As he's wondering what's going on, what happened, this is pretty much when, yeah, you can imagine, Toru and the others are pretty much like, okay, we're sorry. What, what happened? Them just showing him the footage of Izuku's brutality against Bakugo. It's like, I didn't do this. Oh, yes, you did. Ah, oh, please tell me I didn't do this. Kana's like, good job. You're strong now. Uh, but I, wait, if I'm so much stronger, how come I can't break out of these? They're enchanted. Oh, come on. Sorry. I can't risk you killing anyone. But I didn't. I mean, I didn't mean to. It's... I... <sighs> I should have known this was going to happen. I should have said yes to giving you my blood. Or at least I should have been prepared for this. <sighs> this is your fault, Toru. What? You're the one that caused this by giving him your blood to begin with. Instead of waiting for a hospital or whatever to give him his blood type. But no, you want to... I want to save him. Elma is pretty much... Huh. Well, you did. So. And that's pretty much the cause of this. I know why you did it. I, it's just... Think about what his life is going to be like now. 
If he can't control this new side of him, this dragon esque, do you realize how dangerous it is for him now? I'm so sorry. Izuku's. It's. It's fine. <sighs> so. Now what? Well. Given the circumstances, you need to learn how to control your power, and we need to be the ones to teach you. Wait, what? Yep. This power of yours is very, very, very versatile. Uh, and very dangerous. You see, one of us could easily destroy this planet here alone. I mean, yeah, you guys got heroes, but we have magic. And our perception blocking makes it super hard for even the most trained tracker to take us on. But when it comes to you, you have the blood of all three factions coursing through your veins. Not to mention the daughter of, you know, the big head honcho, the one who already hates humans. But imagine if he learned about this, it would be a mix between yay and okay, so when we kill him. Yeah, you're kidding. No, my dad would probably kill you. Yeah, but I did something wrong. I did really anything wrong. Hey, Bobo, I got my ass whooped. Well, be happy. Uh, at least that uh. It's, they're starting to show them itself now, right? Can imagine if it was later on, in a very stressful situation or something. <laughs> then again, what are the odds of you being in any more stressful situations? Come on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you guys are right. But still, oh man. Oh man, wait, what about mom? Where's she? Don't worry, she's still away on business or whatever. So she's hopefully in the dark about this. Oh man, man, no, 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 no. So what do we do now? We train you. Uh, you know, I think we really should have chosen someone else to from the spectator fraction what we gave him the blood of a, a god think of it oh oh it's right it's koalas oh wait that's right what what's that what's that mean because the koalas struggled at all of us combined what if you ever hear a smidgen of her power, that's... You overpowered, overpowered. What? You can destroy this planet several times over, come on to the other side, and destroy it, our planet several times over, even with the magic and heroes that we have. No, who knows? Chances are, you wouldn't have any equal. Hell, even my dad would most likely lose to you. What? Yes! And then, oh, oh, no, 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 no. This is when Loki shows up. Is, oh, you're an easy baby. Stop calling me that! Oh, do you, do you want a hug? No! Not from you, mountains. Seriously, why do people start calling me that? That's not fair. I mean, I do like the compliment, but still, that's that's not nice. Considering you say in such a high stress tone. 
Oh, I thank you guys for saving me, but damn, y'all have damned me. Oh, just because of some dragon, all because of some dragon blood, you think that I can turn into a, a hybrid already. Could you imagine me with a full dragon form? Hint, hint. Uh, right, right. That's a, that's a very, very good point, I guess. Okay. Hmm. That's... I never really thought of it like that. I mean, if we do have a smidgen of... They told me! Oh. Ugh. But seriously, yes. Then he starts reading minds. As, yes. Emma... Emma is pretty much, like, all terrified. And but also excited to be able to train, technically, a young dragon. Well, Tora was like, huh. This just made us closer, didn't it? Who knows? Maybe we'll dish the other girls inside the alley his one and only. As then, Izuku gets a nosebleed where he accidentally read Lokola's mind in which she's like, what? Oh, no, he's... Yeah... No, 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 please, please, excuse, please, don't say anything. So, you got drunk. Yeah, uh, no, 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 please don't say anything. And, and you made whoopee with your sister. Ow. Wait, you did? Yes. Oh. Oh, oh, I, I am so... S Wait, your sister? I know, I know, I know, I know. It is. <gasps> Wait, as a cockroach there, she's just not decent. Huh? I completely forgot you were there in the first place. And then Izuku gets a huge ass nosebleed when Hagakure realizes he's not looking at her heat signature, so to speak. He sees all of her. Everything. Uh, and then, yeah, as you can imagine, her upon realizing this, considering she heard practically everything, she starts crying. Izuku trying to apologize, but she runs out. The others just like, for shame on you. <coughs> mm -mm -mm. He made a girl cry. How could you? Oh, never mind. As then Momo runs in, bursts down the door. The like, you're part dragon now. Yes. Why? I didn't mean for it to happen. I. But that's so unfair. Does that mean. As. Yes, this is Tori's. <laughs> her just walking out to Izuku, then wrapping her arms around him, like, yes, we're. Our bond is even stronger than ever. them looking. Mo is pissed as she's starting to tear up. It's like, that is it! Her leaving on Izuku's bed. At first, she worried about hurting him, but then again, it's like, he's a lot more stronger than he was before. Give me a blood transfusion right now. What? what? I'm not going to lose to her. What? Lose to who? Her? But why did we lose? I'm not gonna lose to this woman. I don't care. I'm not gonna lose you to her. I worked too hard just to be able to see you again. I'm not losing you. 
as then his wings sprout out and then he gets a tail as it starts wagging then he blushes like hell wait d uh, no really that's what got you all riled up over a few sweet sweet words it's gone I don't like it when mom my mom's fight what? As then she gets on Izuku's lap and says, Dad, don't make our moms cry anymore. Please. As Izuku tears up, promises while hugging Kana, like, I promise I won't. 